Saturday, April 6th. I just got out of the shower, that's why I look a little crazy. I'm folding laundry, Cody's in the shower. Um, he's gonna shower and then we actually have to go to um, the pharmacy. Sorry if the camera's shaking, Gussie is chewing on my tripod. So this is a very exciting weekend for us as big WWE fans, we are doing it's, ah, uh, sorry. It's WrestleMania weekend. So, very exciting weekend for us who love WWE. I know, like, I feel like none of you guys watch it. So, whenever I talk about it on my channel, I'm like, who freaking cares? But, um, WWE is, like, a big part of our lives. Like, we watch, have to watch every Monday and Friday, every pay-per-view. Like, we just, we have to watch everything. So, obviously, this is, like, the biggest weekend for WWE fans and this is WrestleMania 40 which is kind of cool and there's gonna be like a lot of important matches because like pretty sure Cody Rhodes is gonna become like our universal champion and all that so it was just a really exciting weekend we have a lot going on uh my brother and his fiance and their two boys are gonna come over tonight and tomorrow to watch WrestleMania and I think tonight we're going to do burgers and then tomorrow we're going to order out. So that's exciting. I'm just excited because one, this is, I have a weekend off and having the WrestleMania weekend off is great. Cause otherwise I work at five. So I wouldn't be able to watch WrestleMania. Gussie, Gussie, cut it out. Psst, psst. Hey, stop it. And I have a three-day weekend this weekend because I decided that I didn't want to watch WrestleMania till like midnight on Sunday and then have to get up at four on Monday because usually the Monday after my weekend I work five to one thirty. So I took it off but honestly the way things have been at work I could not need a three-day weekend more because there's just been so much drama going on at work. My boss left, as I mentioned in my Chick-fil-A mukbang, my boss is leaving. Well, she's gone now. My old boss is back until they find someone new, and that's, that is exciting because I like my old boss, and I know that she'll fix the issues that are needing to be fixed at work. I mean, we've had, since having a new manager, like, she tried all this new stuff, and now it's like we need to somehow get back to a normalcy there. So she's going to help us with that. Um, but it's just been so much like we have someone in our kitchen that really like, I hate to say that no one likes, but he's not very nice. He's very bossy. He's only been there like three or four months and thinks he's like our manager. He's always bossing us around. And we found out that he actually applied to be our manager and we're all like panicking. So we're like, if he gets it, we're all quitting basically. <sighs> so yeah, so I have not needed yesterday I actually got really frustrated because he didn't help at all so I didn't get a break at all yesterday I worked from 5 to 3 30 because I ended up staying for a meeting so I didn't get out till 3 30 and I'm telling you right now I did not get a break in those what is that like 10 hours so I was not happy yesterday, so I am so glad to have three days off. And three days where I'm just going to be home. I'm going to work on travel agent stuff. If you guys don't know, I am a travel agent now. I specialize mostly in Disney and Universal. But right now, I'm actually doing um, training for Carnival Cruise Line. So if you wanted to take a cruise, but you don't want to do uh, Disney per se, like a Disney cruise, I am working on the training right now to be able to book Carnival Cruise trainings next and then I'm going to work on some other trainings some other things that people might want to um book so if you guys have a like request if you're like hey I actually would really like to go here but I don't know where to start let me know and I might be able to look into it I have like a lot a huge list of vendors that we book through KJD but but what I specialize in is kind of like my choice. I just like pick, okay, you know, I wanted to do Disney first. That was like my main priority. So I did all the Disney training. Then I was like, okay, now let's do Universal because a lot of the times Universal and Disney are so close. A lot of people sometimes will either book to go to Disney and Universal or one or the other. Um, 
So I did universal training and now I'm dabbling in more cruise ships because cruises are really big right now and the value of a, of a cruise vacation is pretty good. I mean, for the amount you spend and what you get in, what you spend, like the, what is included in a cruise vacation. So I am definitely going to specialize in cruises more. So I'm starting with Carnival just because that's pretty popular. But we also do, I think, uh, Virgin Voyages, Celebrity Cruises. Uh, there's so many others. So I think I'm going to work on most of the cruises that uh, can be offered. And then, yeah, but if you guys like want me to look into other things, we have, like I said, we have a lot of vendors. I just have to like do the training and all that. But if it's something you guys are interested in, like I know we can do like SeaWorld and Sesame Place. I didn't even know that was a place. Um, I guess it's like Sesame Street, honestly. We also do like all inclusive vacations, like in Mexico and stuff. So, and I think we do sandal, sandal resorts as well. So, like I said, if you guys want me, if you guys are like, hey, can you maybe look into booking these kinds of things? Let me know and I'll definitely check that out. But in the meantime, if you are interested in booking a Disney trip, I know I am going to be doing a video on Disney. This is, that's actually my goal for this three day weekend also is I'm going to plan out that video and probably film it Monday because I will have the house to myself because my husband works on Monday. So my plan is to like map out what I want to like say in the first Disney video. I think my first Disney video is going to be about actually planning your trip to Disney and then I will like piggyback off of that in different videos because I know I've been requested to do um, like being at Disney as like a plus size person like how are the rides and all that when you are a bigger girl and yeah so I'm very excited to finally like do those for you guys but like I said if you are interested in a Disney vacation a universal vacation um, I do Disney World, Disneyland, Olani, which is Disney's resort in Hawaii, um, Universal Orlando, and then Universal Hollywood, which also has like the Nintendo World and stuff. So if you're interested in booking a trip or to even just like talk and like get quotes and stuff, um, it's never like an obligation. Um, I can have my form down below where you just fill it out with like your name, email, um, it's usually like your budget where you want to go that kind of stuff and then I will respond as quickly as possible sometimes I get those uh, requests for quotes and I'm at my full-time job which I am a cook in a nursing home if you don't know so sometimes I have to wait until I'm home but I you always respond the same day so anyways that's my own shameless plug I have promised you guys that this channel is not strictly for my travel agency obviously I'm folding laundry so like that's what you're seeing but I am going to mention it from time to time because like I said you know people might be interested and if you're interested and maybe you're interested in having someone else book it for you not only to mention you know I earn commission off your trip you don't pay me but I get paid from your trip um, Disney pays me so if you want to support me in any way, uh, maybe consider hiring me. Um, Cause like I said, my services are no cost to you. And it's like, you know, I've used a travel agent in the past and it is, oh my God, my cats are fighting. So they're like moving my tripod. I've used a travel agent in the past and I honestly like, they take the stress out of it. So that's why I wanna become a travel agent to help other people because I know planning trips can be stressful, especially if you've never been somewhere before. So yeah, so that's my little shameless plug. Like I said, I'll have the form down below um, and my travel agent email is always down below that if you don't wanna fill out the form and just wanna shoot me an email, you can do that as well. Another shameless plug is I've been posting my Disney vlogs as like one minute videos on TikTok. So if you guys wanna go check that out, obviously it's the same videos as you've seen on my channel, but I've broken them down into like one, two, three minute videos. But if you guys could like go give me a follow, of course I'm gonna say all this and then TikTok will get banned or something. 
Um, but if you could support my TikTok. Okay, that's it for the shameless plugs for this vlog. So I'm gonna finish laundry, Cody's showering. We're gonna go get his prescription because he's out of both of his high blood pressure medicine and his Stratera, which I'm pretty sure he's fine with me saying this. Um, Cody takes Stratera because he has Asperger's and it helps with, um, it helps, it helps him focus, he says. So I think it's like a form of like an ADHD medicine because um, like with his Asperger's, he has ADHD. So yeah, so the Stratera helps a lot. And when he is out of it, because you know, long of the days that you could call in a prescription, do you guys remember when you could like call in a prescription? They're like, sure, 20 minutes. Like he called in the prescription like, Tuesday and it it wasn't gonna be ready until today which is Saturday so he had to go like a day without it and it, it really throws him off when he's without it and when you're off your Stratera and your high blood pressure medicine it's just he's not feeling great today so I said go get ready because they did they said Saturday by 8 a.m. so they should it should be ready by now so we're gonna go do that probably get some Duncan while we're out just because like when in Rome and we love Duncan. Um, and then we're gonna come home. We've pretty much said like, we don't wanna like necessarily sit all morning because we're gonna be sitting all night watching WrestleMania. So I'm probably gonna try to do some housework cause we did a little bit of a cleanup. Like we cleaned our bathrooms cause like obviously we're gonna have guests over and they're gonna wanna use the bathroom. Um, but there's like little things like our, our bedroom like could use some work. I wanna like spring refresh my bedroom. What do you guys think about that? Would you want to see it on my channel? Um, the problem is, obviously, I'm not, like, swimming in money, obviously. I talk about that a lot. But, like, I definitely want a new bed frame. I really would like new nightstands. I want to put a picture above my my bed, but I don't know what I want to do. I think I want to put, like, a big wedding picture, like a big canvas of, like, Cody and I above our bed. But what do you guys think about that? I used to have, like, this the cheesy like good morning gorgeous hello handsome or something like that but I decided to take them down because I just like I want like a big picture above it but I feel like I want it to be like of us so that's why I'm like I think I want to do like a big canvas photo of like a wedding photo because I actually don't display a lot of wedding photos in my house anymore it's so funny I had a lot and uh, my nephew Evan he has autism so he doesn't just like a filter and he was just like why do you only have wedding photos in your house and I'm like well because like it was a big day in my life so I have a lot of wedding photos so then I took down some wedding photos and that's when I built my like Disney picture wall that's in my living room I'm I'm pretty sure I've showed you guys and now I only have like a few wedding photos but I don't have a lot of Cody and I in wedding photos a lot of it's like family wedding photos of like my family and his family but we don't have like a lot of, of wedding pictures up that are like just of me and him so I think I want to get some and put it above our bed uh we also have and I thought about putting this um when we did our wedding we had um a instead of a guest book we had this like big wooden round sign that says like our last name and then people got to sign it and right now that's like in our stairwell in like a random spot and I thought that might be cute above our bed as well so I don't know we'll just see but what do you guys think like should I put a, a picture of us like from our wedding up there should I just find like a nice um like painting to put up there I'm not like big on because I don't really have an interior decorator in my soul at all. Like, that's just not my personality. My sister's good at decorating. I'm just not. That's why you'll never see me really decorate my house that much except for Christmas. Because, like, I have fall decorations or I have spring decorations, but I just don't take the time to get them out. And then when I do get them out, it's like I don't have a good vision of what, how they should go in my house. So I would love to like get artwork, sure, but I just feel like I don't know where to start. I don't know what would look good in my house. 
some people have like color schemes in my in their house and I just don't I mean for the most part if I buy new furniture I just go with black usually because I'm like whatever black goes with everything right so that's why like we have a lot of um a lot of black in our house oh Cody's out of the shower now hello guys it is Monday April 8th I did not vlog like at all this weekend after I last talked to you guys I just um it was just so busy and there was just so much going on so just to recap this was Wrestlemania weekend big weekend for us and we had my brother his fiance and their two boys and um they came both nights and I'm just gonna be honest we probably won't do that again no offense to them if they're seeing this but it was just a lot for us to host like two nights in a row so I think in the future we're only gonna do one night um and it like so Saturday was night one and the day actually went really slow so that was really good but Sunday it like flew by I ended up deep cleaning our house I it started with like wanting to clean and organize my fridge because it was really bugging me to like every time I open the fridge like not know where anything is and having to like you know dig through like all the stuff on the shelves so I like took everything out wiped my shelves down in the fridge and then I used to have these plastic bins and I still had them so I decided to like reuse those because I used them when we first moved in and then we just stopped but I don't know I really like how my fridge looks now so I think I'm going to hopefully keep an organization you know system and my hair looks crazy today you guys so then it turned into well I'll mop the kitchen floor and I was like well I might as well mop the two bathrooms and then I actually took all of our shoes because the way our apartment works is when you walk in you're walking in to our stairwell and then we have a downstairs and an upstairs and the downstairs is our living room and the upstairs is our bedroom so and the, the stairs are carpet but that little patch where you we like keep our shoes and stuff by the door is like linoleum so and it honestly does not get cleaned very often I actually don't remember the last time I mopped it if I have ever mopped it since we moved in I know I'm sorry I know you're gonna judge me but so I took all the shoes out of there mopped that and then put the shoe racks like I have those boot trays and I took them outside and cleaned them and let them air dry outside so and then I vacuumed upstairs and um, washed um, did laundry like washed our towels and the bath mats and stuff so I had a really busy day yesterday morning which made the morning go by fast and then at like 12 or so I don't remember what time it was like 12 or 12 30 I decided to go upstairs and take a nap I was just so tired so I went upstairs and I laid down and I woke up at 1 30 but I was just like you guys ever have those naps where it's like you could you can't get yourself to get up that was basically what was happening like I woke up at 1 30 and I'd enter every intention of like getting myself up but it's like my body like physically couldn't so then I literally fell back asleep until three o'clock so I took like a good two hour nap but clearly my body needed it and I felt really good afterwards and then my brother and his family came over again for night two which was really exciting because Cody Rhodes won the Universal Championship Roman Reigns has been the champion for literally like four years so to finally have a new champion is just um really cool so uh so then they left we didn't fall asleep till like one and then I woke up at six because you know my internal alarm clock I'm always waking up like five or six in the morning and I've been doing more carnival training this morning the site was down yesterday, so I couldn't, but this morning I was able to go through a little bit. There's a lot to the carnival training. It's a lot of like 10 to like 30 minute videos you have to like watch and then do a quiz on. So I have been having to just do like a few at a time. So it's taking me longer than I would like. I thought about just like hankering down and doing it this morning, but I'm kind of liking, um, doing a little bit at a time, like, um, 
And honestly, today, I am not feeling myself. I don't know what's going on. I just like feel off and I don't, it's like, it's not like I'm sad or upset or anything, but I'm also like not totally happy today. So I just, I don't know, I feel like I'm in a funk. I don't know if it's cause the total eclipse is today at like 2.22, we're gonna see the solar eclipse go over the sun or whatever. I don't know what an eclipse really is. Um, I do have glasses. I'm hoping I remember to go outside and see it. Um, maybe I'll just set an alarm on my phone for like 2.15 so that way I know to like put on my glasses and go outside. So I'm going to do that at some point. Um, I don't know if I can film it. I'll like try, but I don't know how much my camera would pick up. And you're not even supposed to like look at the sun. So I don't know if I should be pointing a camera to it. So I don't know. I, I feel like maybe it could be because I'm ovulating. And with ovulation, like let's talk about TTC for a second. If any of anyone else has ever been in this boat or currently in this boat, um, I... I always feel like this sense of, um, you know, ovulation's like, you know, exciting because it's like another chance at hopefully becoming pregnant. But obviously the stress of that comes with tracking it and, um, you know, like I started ovulating yesterday, but we didn't have sex yesterday. So then in my brain, I'm like, oh my God, there is another, there's a day and like, we only have like so many, cause you only really have like a week of ovulation so I think I ovulate from now to the 13th and it's just really hard because they like my libido since gaining so much weight I'm assuming that's why my libido is so low but even if I do have enough libido to be intimate I only I end up like really only having enough libido to be intimate like once during ovulation and I know what like a lot of people are gonna say like why don't you just like lose weight first and I definitely feel like maybe I should but then in my brain like because right now oh my god I'm getting emotional um if we conceive this cycle my due date would be January 1st so we've pretty much like assuming the baby like if assuming I if I got pregnant right now and the baby actually came on its due date or even after we we're pretty much out of the window of having a baby in 2024 which I think we're fine with it's just um it does suck to like you know to hope that you were gonna have one this year but Obviously, like, January is still pretty, like, early in the next year. Um, and I I follow so many TTC people on TikTok right now. And one, actually, I think her name's Adelaide. And she's been trying for a baby for four years. So then I'm like, it's just so sad to, like, see that. And um, I know it can take a while for a lot of people. Um, but back to the, like, the whole intimacy thing, it's just hard because it's, like, I don't, my libido is so low that it's, like, I don't know. So, I'm trying to get back there, and, like I said, I've thought about just, I don't know, I've I thought about just, like, focusing more on trying to lose weight, and then someday, hopefully, but I just, um, I also, like, I don't want to stop trying for the off chance that, you know, what if we tried this month and it ends up being the month, you know? So, I don't know. It's just, with my birthday coming up next month and stuff, it's just hard because, obviously, my brain, I feel like my biological clock is ticking and it's just really hard. Um, so I feel like I'm just stressing out about that. And I don't know. I just don't feel like myself today. I don't know if it's like lack of sleep. Cause like I probably only got like five or six hours of sleep last night. So I don't know if I should just go in and try a nap or drink more coffee. Um, 
I don't know. I just, I don't feel the greatest. And then part of me is like, I want to sit around today, but then I also want to do stuff around the house still, but there's really not a whole lot to do around the house unless I really wanted to get like in the nitty gritty and like actually like go through stuff or like, I don't know. I did a lot of like spring cleaning yesterday, so there really isn't a whole lot to do today. <sighs> I just, it's just really hard. Um, I don't know. I, I'm glad I have a three day weekend. Like I could not, I, I feel like I wouldn't have been able to go to work today. I probably would have called out for like mental health. Um, so I'm glad I took today off and then I only, I really only have to work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday because I have Friday off because I work this coming weekend, which sucks because Megan's baby shower is on Saturday and unfortunately I'm going to have to miss it. So I'm going to have to put together her gift. I think that's also why I'm stressing out because she's like literally about to have a baby and I was really hoping to have a baby somewhat close to her um because like I think it was Kristen commented on one of my, on one of my videos that because I had said like I really didn't want to have back-to-back -back babies but um like she made a good point that like it would mean our kids would be like best friends and stuff so I was hoping to have a baby like within a few months of her so that way our babies could be close in age because like Dylan and Megan are the only ones giving my future children cousins because like my siblings aren't having their own children they got with their partners had children when they met them so they are just like like they have stepkids and then that's really it but their stepkids are all teenagers so like the only cousin my baby's gonna have is Dylan and Megan's baby so I don't know just a lot of emotions and I know it's like the second day of ovulation so it's like why are you so upset about this and why are you stressing out when like obviously like we have a few days and who's to say that Cody and I aren't intimate in the next few days but it just sucks because we still haven't really fixed that problem in our marriage yet we've like we've been trying but it's just hard when we're working and there's just been a lot going on, you know, with my job, his job, me doing this travel agency, and I don't know, it's just, there never is, like, a right time to be int intimate, if that makes sense. So, I think I've just also been stressing out because I don't have any clients yet for my travel agency, and when did I start the travel agency? It's really only been, like, two weeks, and so I know it takes people longer, but I also have... The stress of it, I in a couple weeks I have my meeting with my mentor, my once a month meeting, and one of my goals was to book a trip for somebody, and I haven't yet, and I don't know, even though, like, he's not going to be disappointed in me, like, he's even said, like, if you don't book a client, like, don't worry about it, like, walk before you run, and, you know, he's like, you're not going to get graded, like, if you don't book a client, then we just see and say, like, and see, like, why not, you know, so... I think Adam's like a really good mentor and I was really nervous about having a male as my mentor because I'm weird but I I really like him so he's been very supportive of like what I've been doing so I actually had to change my logo I don't know if you guys noticed if you follow any of my travel agent stuff I had to change my logo because they did make a good point that if you have anything like Disney related Disney could give you like a letter of saying change a logo and I did have like the and my logo was so cute so I was really bummed about it I had like a cute little fluffy orange cat with like Mickey ears and like Mickey balloons but what I the way I did my logo it looks really nice and even Adam said it looks really cool so that's like one thing I just I do love is doing logos and stuff on Canva Sometimes I think I should, like, offer my services on, like, Fiverr or something. So I'm just, like, I find it really fun to do stuff like that. But I don't know. I'm always just, like, looking to make extra money. It also sucks because, like, I would love to, like, go shopping right now. And we just don't have a lot of money because, like, we just paid rent. And, like, we both get paid this week. So it's, like, you know, you're in that limbo stage. But 
Monday, next Monday, the 15th, I'm going to Trader Joe's with my sister. And I think I really could use some sister time. I haven't seen my sister in a while and I haven't really hung out with her. So mostly because I just haven't had the money to like go to her house or anything. So I think that's going to be really fun to like go to Trader Joe's. We're going to go to Crumble Cookie and just have like sister a sister day. So I'm really excited about that. And then, yeah. But I'm going to go inside now because I've been talking for 20 minutes. Hello. Let's make a coffee. So, what do I want to put it in? You know what? Oh, jeez. I don't like this hang up. Does that work? kind of works. Okay. Let's get some ice. Got my ice. Um, this cup's from Etsy. I can have... The shop link down below if it's still available um these are all just like stickers though and i feel like eventually they'll all come off but i really wanted a um like a cold starbucks cup to make iced coffee at home i don't know why i just did also i've been like staring my sister's making me a new stainless steel cup i wanted it for work but i'm honestly thinking of getting rid of my stanley so i might keep it here because the stanley is getting i and let me tell you i clean the stanley every single day but it's like i don't know i think it's getting funky i'm not gonna lie i'm worried it's getting mold in like the cap and stuff so i think i might get rid of it so is a stanley worth 45 dollars well I don't, I really can't answer that. I'd have to look, I'd have to try out other stainless steel brands, I guess. I will say I preferred my Yeti to the, to the Stanley and even still, like my sister, her stainless steel cups are, oh my God. You should see me trying to open this. My sister's stainless steel cups are not Yeti brand. They're like, um, I think they're from like Mother Tumblr or something. And they are just as good as like the Yeti or the Stan or the Stanley Cup. So, so iced coffee. If I find this for a good price at TJ Maxx, I'll get it. Otherwise, I mean, is this worth the money? Well, how many cups do you make out of it? It says it can make eight servings if you prepare it as directed, which is usually. This says three fourths cup of concentrate, which makes a one and a half cups of coffee because you're doing like a one to one ratio. So you do three fourths cup of coffee concentrate and then three fourths cup of water. Oh my God, I feel like you can't talk. If you were supposed, if you were to buy this from like, let's say Walmart, I think it's like 10 bucks. So is it worth that price when you can buy like Stoke? I guess I would have to compare how many cups I get out of a Stoke bottle. I do love Stoke though. Oh my God, now I can't open this. Hold on. Okay. Like I said, I'd have to I'd have to see how many cups you get out of a Stoke coffee. But I really like the flavor of Stoke. Sometimes these cold brew concentrates are hard to get right. Like I feel like I try so many variations. One to one, maybe one for like a little less water or like whatever, and I just at least the stoke is nice because it's already like just gotta pour in a cup put your creamer in it i'm gonna do a half cup of water because i also add creamer to it and i like a lot of creamer because that's how i sweeten my coffee i don't put syrup or sugar in my coffee so this is silk almond creamer and creme brulee i got this from shaw's it was on sale i decided to try it i've been really into shopping at shaw's i don't know if you guys have it near you um my shaw's is well, I think Shaw's in general, I don't know if it will like, if and when it will actually be a thing, but I think Shaw's is getting bought by Kroger, which is kind of cool because I don't have all these stores that like everyone else has. Like I don't have an Aldi. That's good. I don't have Trader Joe's except for two hours away. Like I don't have all these stores i have walmart hannaford shaw's target and that's it like that's all i have for grocery stores but then i also have like sam's club bj's 
that kind of stuff. I really need to go to Sam's Club. Problem is I don't have the money for Sam's Club because I cannot go to Sam's Club without spending at least $100 because one thing costs like 20 bucks because you're buying it wholesale. So I made my coffee. Oh, do you guys like my new Bray Wyatt shirt? I know you guys are like, that looks insane. If you don't watch wrestling, you wouldn't know who he is. But Bray Wyatt was the fiend and all that um, wrestler. He actually passed away this past August. And he was my favorite wrestler. And I bawled like a baby when Cody and I watched his documentary this weekend. So, you know. All right. It's 11 a.m. I'm not really hungry. I did, however, make these muffins this morning. This is the Kodiak blueberry muffin mix. They're pretty good. I wish I had had like something to add to it. Like, um, maybe some like lemon, like blueberry lemon would have been good. Um, I wish I thought to put some more white chocolate chips in them. Last week I did a raspberry lemon mix, but it was a pancake mix. But I followed the directions on the back to make muffins out of it. And I put white chocolate chips in them and those muffins were so good. I ate them all week. It's not bad. Just tastes like if you've ever had the Betty Crocker um, muffin mix, the like it used to be like a dollar or something. That's really what this tastes like. But these are supposed to have protein in them, so a little bit guilt-free. I don't know how much guilt-free it is, but whatever. Um, I like to prep these and then have them throughout the week. Because for breakfast, if I don't feel like having eggs, I like to like just have a couple of these with some fruit and, you know, kind of make like a breakfast snack plate almost. Today's supposed to be really nice. It's supposed to get up to like 60 degrees. So I think I'm going to like open a window, light a candle. I have a raspberry thumbprint wallflower in my bathroom and I have a raspberry thumbprint candle. So I think I'll just light it so that way the whole house kind of smells like it. I took a little nap, just like a half hour, and it was like one of those naps where I felt like I didn't really sleep. So, I don't know. Now I'm grabbing my Eclipse glasses because I think they say it's gonna start at like 2.22. So I'll grab my glasses. I'm gonna pee one more time and I'm gonna go sit outside. I don't know when it ends. So I don't know how long I'll be out there, but I figured if, I figured like I really, I debate not, but I was like, you know what? Am I going to regret not going out? So I was going to go out. If it ends up being boring or if I don't see anything, I'll just come back inside. I like don't have my, I have outdoor chairs, but they're actually at my sister's. So I was like, well, I guess I'll sit in my car until it's like time because it's 218. Um, these are the glasses I have. They're like, they, they literally like, if I put them on, I can't see except the sun. I don't know. It's like a weird magic. And I also don't know whether to put them on over my glasses or not, but I can't see without my glasses. So I don't know. I guess I'll just see. Uh, I, when I was like trying to find the sun, it's like right over here. I did like do this and then look up and then I was able to see it, but. I don't know. I think they say the total eclipse is at like three, but it's gonna start in like a couple minutes. So I just tell you guys, it is so warm out. It's 62 degrees. My card's saying it's 66, which I'm wondering if that means my temperature gauge is finally not frigged up anymore. Um, I stepped out at 222 and it looks like there's like something happening. But, um, even with these, it, like, to, like, crane your neck up and stuff, I, like, can only see it for a few seconds. So, I'm just going to wait a few more minutes. I think they say the total eclipse will happen at, like, 318. So, I figured every, like, few minutes, I'll step out and look again. Cody just messaged me saying he just got out of work. So I'm gonna go get him. We got out early today. That was cool. I cannot get over how warm it is outside. The fact I'm in like shorts and a t-shirt and I'm like comfortable. I posted my first carnival cruise deal, I guess. Like a, 
So what I do is I like decide, okay, what do I want to price out today? And I'll just choose like, sometimes it's just at random. I'll be like, you know what? Let's do another Disney World. Let's do Alani. Let's do Universal. Um, so I decided to just do Carnival. The price of Carnival is pretty amazing. The fact that you could go on a six day Caribbean, um, do you guys say Caribbean or Caribbean? Anyways, you could go on a, oh my God, I'm so sorry. A six day Caribbean cruise for $1,700 for two people is pretty um, remarkable, I think. The downfall, I would say, for a Carnival Cruise, and I don't know, this could be for most cruises, um, and I just, because, like, I've never taken a cruise, so I don't know. The most I, the most knowledge I know is Disney, and Disney, you pay a $200 deposit to book your trip, and then the final payment of your trip has to be the, like, you have to have the trip paid off by 30 days before your trip. And then I just was looking and I think it said, cause the one I priced out today would be from like September 1st to September 7th, I wanna say. And you pay a pretty low deposit. I think it was like 150 or something, I don't remember. But then you have to have the trip paid off by June 3rd. And so like, if it was me booking this trip, that would mean I would have to have it paid off in two months. And like, so it's something to think about, I guess. I guess it depends like how soon you wanna go on a trip and how much you've saved up. Just keep like trying to have good thoughts and keep thinking like it's going to happen. Someone is gonna bite eventually, so I don't know. And he did say like, if people ask you for quotes to like follow up, like keep kinda not necessarily bug them but keep saying like hey just checking in just checking in um so i don't know i guess i could still do that with the people that have requested quotes so i guess we'll have to see but i'm here to pick up cody and i'm sure he's waiting for me so i will check in when we get home hi guys it is tuesday april 9th i didn't end the vlog so i wanted to um Last night, when did I leave you guys off? I don't even remember. Um, but had a really chill day. Just watched the eclipse. Oh, that's when I when I did the eclipse. Made my dinner with Cody. I did chop suey. It was really good. I forgot to film it, but it was delicious. Um, and then we just watched. We rewatched WrestleMania. Um, for the most part, we rewatched it. Like we we like fast forward through the matches we didn't care about what we wanted to watch like the cody Rhodes match one more time then we watched raw i think i fell asleep before raw ended i went up at like 10 and yeah i just um it, it was a good day i feel a little refreshed like i feel ready to go back to work i think the only thing that's keeping me from like not being like oh my god is that I really only have to work today, tomorrow, and Thursday, and then I have Friday off because I work this weekend. I do think I'm gonna put in for my birthday though. I've been teetering on it because I keep thinking like, we probably won't have the money to go anywhere, but then I'm like, well, I could at least have some time at home. Um, and I've always kind of taken my weekend off, um, my birthday off, whether it's the day, but my birthday is actually on a Thursday this year. And I think it would just be a good opportunity to do like Thursday through Sunday. Just take like a four day weekend. I've, I even thought about doing Thursday through Monday and taking like a good five days off. But I think I'll do Thursday through Sunday would be the best thing to do. And that way I could like see my sister or we've talked about doing a little trip. I thought about um, Rhode Island might be fun. I found a hotel that would only be like 400 if we wanted to go and they have like a zoo and all that. So I, I, it's in my brain, but I don't know what we're going to end up doing. But I even told them like, I think I want to take a long weekend that weekend, even if we don't go anywhere just to be at home. The only gripe is like trying to think of like all the other things we might want to do this summer. And it's like, is best to take a couple days off work? Because I do have EBT and I have a lot built up. But with the 
thing in the back of my mind of if I were to get pregnant, my EBT is how I get paid on maternity leave. So I really like once I get pregnant, I'm going to have to like not use my EBT and just try to build it up as much as I can. So that way hopefully I can get decent paychecks while I'm off. Exciting stuff coming up. Hopefully I'll vlog most of it. Um, we have our nephew. We actually find out today when our nephew will be born because she actually has to get induced early because she has gestational diabetes. And they're basically saying the baby could come out at any time now. Like they're thinking they could un induce her at the end of April, which is really exciting. So that's like only like a few weeks away. Like we could have a nephew. Um, and I'm really, it's really exciting and just it's so excited for this next chapter for them and obviously like for our family in general. And then like next month's my birthday and hopefully these next few months Cody and I will get pregnant. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a crazy time right now and I just, I don't know, I think Cody and I are definitely feeling a lot happier. I think, um... I think honestly, we we went through a, like major seasonal depression this year. It's like now these past two days have been beautiful. Like there's blue skies. Yesterday was like over 60 degrees. Today it's supposed to be warm again and just, we just feel a lot happier. Like we just, we feel really happy that we're enjoying life. So I think, I think we were just like lacking like sunshine, you know, so I'm really excited for spring and summer. Um, and usually I don't say that, like I don't love it. Um, but I don't know, work stuff is just going, is crazy to the point where I'm thinking about leaving. So like to have things outside of work to look forward to just is really helping. And it's like the work is just something to pay bills, you know? So anyways, I've, I don't even know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to end this vlog. I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, getting back in the swing of vlogging since I took a month off has been kind of hard. It's almost like I end up forgetting to vlog. So I'm going to try to be better about that. Um, probably not going to vlog until I might do like a day off with me on Friday. But honestly, I probably am not doing much. Because Monday, I'm actually going to Portland with my sister. So we can go to Trader Joe's. Anyways, if you like this video and you like the vlogs on my channel, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe. If you haven't already, just go ahead and click that little red thing, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.